they were still laughing on the platform in Zurich when they were looking for Papa. Anna saw him first. He was standing by a bookstall. His face was white and his eyes were searching the crowds milling around the train. Papa, she shouted, Papa. He turned and saw them. And then Papa, who was always so dignified, who never did anything in a hurry, suddenly ran towards them. He put his arms round Mama and hugged her. Then he hugged Anna and Max. He hugged and hugged them all and would not let them go. I couldn't see you, said Papa. I was afraid. I know, said Mama. When Hitler stole Pink Rabbit, it's about uh, my childhood uh, because we were refugees from Hitler and uh, uh, Pink Rabbit uh, was a favorite toy which I, I left and took the wrong toy instead. When we were living in Germany that last year, I'm still amazed now at how, how little I realized of what was going on. In fact, nothing at all. There was a list of people that the Nazis, uh, they published it in one of their newspapers of people. They said, we will stand these people up against a wall and shoot them when we come to power. My father's name was the second on the list. My parents lost everything and uh, they never made us feel that, my parents. I mean, they were marvelous. We really loved our childhood. We really enjoyed it. We thought it was terrific. It was because they made it feel like an adventure. I, I loved being in all these different places. Um, I thought it was very interesting going to different schools. The war was the time when I really became a Brit. The people were incredible, you know, all this about their finest hour, it, it bloody well was their finest hour. And by that time I could speak perfect English and nobody would have known that I wasn't English. But my parents, of course, still had German accents and uh, you know, people were being killed right and left, bombs falling every night in the Blitz. Nobody ever said anything nasty to him. Well, this, this is where I work. This is my workroom. Everything I've done, I've done in this room. The novels and the drawings. Nice one of my father there. And there's Tom on Brooklyn Bridge when we were in America. We had a wonderful time. You have to rethink everything when you have small children. You think you know what you think about things, but you don't. Eventually, they both went to school and stayed to lunch. I thought, you know, I must do some work now. I thought, well, why don't I try to make a picture book of one of the stories I told my daughter and which she'd always liked and insisted on having it told again and again and again, which was this thing about the tiger who came to tea. So I just tried to do that. And uh, you know, I was very lucky, eh? Collins accepted it. All my childhood, I always wanted a cat, but uh, um, of course you couldn't have one in those circumstances. And anyway, my parents had other worries. Uh, but uh, my Tom, my husband, was a great cat man. He'd always had cats, and uh, he wanted one as well. So as soon as we got this house, uh, we got a cat. And uh, this was Mog. And I was so amazed and enchanted by, by the sort of strangeness of cats. I mean, the things he did were so peculiar and so funny. Um, that I thought I'd, I'd do a picture book of just about the things he did. Well, one or two of them were things that other people's cats did. The children in the book had my, my children's second names, and they were called the family Thomas. A lot of it was things that uh, Tom and the children had said about the cat. I mean, the Mog was sort of lying there 
twitching a bit and uh, with her eyes closed and the children said, I bet she dreams that she can fly. So I put that in. This is a new book which is coming out uh, in May next year and uh, it's about being a widow but it's very jolly and quite funny I think and it's sort of slightly ridiculous. I mean it's totally ridiculous. It says, they think I'm sitting in this chair just waiting for my tea. But then you turn over and get this. In fact, I'm flying through the air with Henry holding me. My Henry died and went to heaven, but now he's got his wings. They let him out from four till seven, and we do all sorts of things. So it's quite funny for children, I hope. Well, even for grown-ups, but it's about something. It's about this old lady fantasizing about... Uh, what she might do.